The 1950s was an era of crazy pursuit of speed. Various aviation powers had already mastered the mystery of supersonic flight of aircraft, but this was not the end. Designers were frantically pursuing hypersonic flight, and the American X-15 rocket-powered experimental aircraft is a product of this pursuit of speed and altitude. The X-15 may not be as famous, but technically, the designers have a very high evaluation of the X-15 experimental aircraft. It has had a huge impact on American aviation and aerospace technology, which even today is not a technology that ordinary countries can handle. The X-15 was developed and manufactured by North American Aviation, with a total of three prototypes built and 199 flights conducted. The X-15 is a unique, all-black, and very heavy aircraft. The aircraft is 15.45 meters long, with a small trapezoidal wingspan and a large tail fin installed at the rear. Because of the high-speed flight, the friction between the air and the aircraft will generate high temperatures. Conventional aluminum alloy skin cannot adapt to this, and even stainless steel will deform. Therefore, the aircraft uses a nickel chrome iron alloy, which can withstand temperatures of 1200-1300 degrees Fahrenheit. However, its disadvantage is also obvious, as it is too heavy. For this reason, the designers used lighter titanium alloy inside the aircraft. The pilot's work environment is different from that of ordinary aircraft. The human body will experience tremendous low pressure, and the importance of pressure suits had already been realized at the time. X-15 pilots were equipped with a new set of pressure suits, including oxygen supply equipment, communication equipment, and more. In fact, it is the prototype of the later U.S. NASA spacesuit. In order to further protect the pilots, the cockpit was also filled with nitrogen to reduce injuries from fire accidents. What many people do not know is that the X-15 pilot seat technology actually originated from a tractor. The International Harvester Company, which at the time designed and produced agricultural equipment, conducted research on seats. It was a very difficult task to drive a tractor for a long time, so the company carefully studied the impact of seat shape on the human body and developed a corresponding seat shape. The X-15 designers directly copied this product. The X-15 is powered by an XLR99RM2 rocket engine, the first prototype had two smaller thrust rocket engines, which is driven by liquid oxygen and liquid ammonia. Acetylene is also injected during operation to stabilize combustion, and the maximum thrust can reach 313 knots at high altitudes. Like other rocket engines, the X-15's engine can only burn briefly. The standard engine burn time is less than 2 minutes. Later, additional external jettisonable tanks increased the burn time to 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Therefore, the aircraft does not take off autonomously, but is mounted under a B-52 heavy bomber and released after climbing to a certain altitude. It relies on powerful thrust to climb and sprint. After the fuel is exhausted, the aircraft continues to climb a distance under the inertia, and then descends back to the ground. The aircraft has two sled-type landing gears at the rear and another wheeled landing gear installed under the nose. The X-15 also faced another problem during flight. At normal flying altitudes, the pilot can adjust the flight attitude by adjusting the air rudder surface due to the atmospheric conditions. However, at an altitude of 200,000 feet, about 61,000 meters, the air rudder surface is no longer effective. Therefore, the designers installed hydrogen peroxide steam thrusters on the nose and wingtips to adjust the attitude by jetting steam. The X-15 was the first manned near-space orbital spacecraft in the United States. It continuously increased its altitude and speed during flight, achieving a maximum flight speed of 6.85 Mach, slightly higher than the design expectations, and a maximum flight altitude of 108 kilometers. Driving the X-15 is not an easy task. The pilot, wearing a heavy pressure suit, already has difficulty operating the aircraft, 
and gliding to the ground without power requires strict procedural operation, constantly paying attention to various data on the dashboard, and making corresponding adjustments. A total of 12 pilots flew the X-15, and 8 of them were recognized by NASA and granted astronaut status for reaching an altitude of 80 kilometers. Among these 8 pilots was Neil Armstrong, who later walked on the moon. The X-15 had a very significant impact on American aviation and aerospace technology. For example, some of the technologies obtained from the X-15 were used in the later moon landing program, and others such as the space shuttle, pressure suits, and hypersonic flight within the atmosphere are all related to it. 